Charles, Charles. Go on. And that is one door as a little team over there. There's no door, I'm going to push. And what do you want? Yeah, and there's not anywhere that we can do that because our lines are here. other plans but really they get active at night and at night early in the morning sometimes if they haven't make a kill you tend to see them moving trying to hunt if really make a kill at night they use a lot of energy when chasing animal bring it down eating for the female going back fresh cups and bring it back to the kiln so early in the morning like this when the sun start to crack up and it's getting a little bit warm it burns a lot of energy they have to lie down for the rest of the night until they get active at late at night and move around towards water one of the lazy species when it comes to move around quite a lot here during the day you won't get to see that unless if it's a nomadic pride it's just coming from somewhere escaping for the territorial pride that around the area she tend to move quite a lot or you tend to move quite a lot if it's a pride they will tend to move quite a lot because they don't know what's going to happen to them you find them moving in a very very hot day which is very unusually for the pride of lion to do that. Other than care that buffalo this is a second kill it's been a week ago on some dates so really lion take a week completely to to go for the next kill again if they really this part they've eaten enough on that world beast which i doubt it can be uh it's gonna take another a week again but if really not that much uh, after three to four days on the line there, they'll try to hunt something again. But normally lions kill once a week.
This pride here called Kuhuma pride is the biggest pride that has ever been in the area before. And I believe it will be a lot more strong when it comes to the other pride that need really need to challenge and fight really want to push them away from the spot, from the area of operation. Really, they were going to be here for a while. And as it will be like that, I believe in in 12 months time, the scalps here that we see it will be a lot more bigger and they're able to handle the matters all together. Is where you're gonna see quite a lot of kills on our drive because it will be a lot more sub, sub adults which are a lot more inquisitive on hunting, chasing animal, and that it makes the plant a lot more successful. You tend to see if sub adults are around chasing something like giraffe, sub adult rhinos. It gives a lot of action, of course. So we just hope in 12 months time, this brother is still around here. We start to see quite a lot of action, especially the breeding herd of buffalo. They will stay behind them all the time. I hope at that time, there will be no much individuals buffaloes that around in the area. Too much buffaloes in this particular farm in Juma. Wherever you drive you might see buffalo in the water hole. Lonely ones or dagger boys we might call it like that ways. So you hardly get to see all of that because the pride will be more active in the area hunting specific big animal like buffalo the number of pride will too big they won't hunt something like wildebeest is too small for that number of pride if they're all 20 26 29 all together it has to go something big as giraffe sometimes if they get to hunt buffalo they might kill two buffalo at the same time because the number of blood is too big. So there could be a lot of action around in the area.